What's going on? It's your big brother, Trend Genius, and you tuned in once again to the right video at the right time. Nothing happens by mistake. You watching this video for a very special reason. I'm about to tell you in this video, five signs someone in your life is sent by the devil. Because the chances are, if you consider yourself a chosen one, or maybe you say you are anointed or highly blessed, chances are either you had somebody in your life that was sent by the devil to you and you got rid of that person all right and you remember what they was like or you probably got somebody in your life right now who is sent by the devil but you have no idea that they are sent by the devil well that's okay that's why you're watching this video because i'm about to reveal to you five signs someone in your life is sent by the devil and if this message resonates with you you already know what to do at the end of this video all right so again stay tuned to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel after this video and share this video to another believer in christ after this video somebody who real cool with you who might need this word all right listen this is what you need to know okay first and foremost what is it ephesians 6 chapter 12 if i'm not mistaken it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but we wrestle against principalities. We wrestle against powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. You know what that means? What that means is we wrestling with something way more bigger than us, okay? We can't do it. Only God can fight our battles for us, okay? So you might be going through something right now with a person who is sent by the devil, but you might not know it because it's on a spiritual level that most people are not aware of. And I'm about to bring that awareness to your attention in this video so that you can remember who you are being a divine chosen one, all right? Now, one thing you need to know about these people, these people are very sneaky. They are very devious, very sneaky people who operate below the weight radar of your understanding, all right? So you might not think that this person is sent by the devil because they pretend to be like this or they act a certain way when they get around you but if there's other people like me who can see that they are not who they pretend to be then i can assist you in letting you know that this person is sent by the devil you need to get away from this person all right so here's the first thing that you need to know if somebody is sent by the devil it's obvious your spirit becomes trouble you ever get around somebody and you feel nervous you know you feel all this tension it's like you got a weight on your shoulders or something you don't feel open you don't feel free you just be like yo why do i feel like this that's because it's something about that person maybe it's something that they're thinking that's not healthy maybe it's something that they're going through that they're, they're not telling you um maybe they have a, a different motive as to why they are with you and they're lying to you or they're pretending to be somebody that they're not i don't know but if this person makes you feel troubled like your spirit feels troubled like it feels like a dark cloud is over your head every time you get rid of this person that person has an evil spirit on them and most of the time you think that it's you you think that you're doing something bad you probably think thoughts like you're a bad person um, maybe you're just paranoid or maybe you're just afraid of things all the time. No, most of the time, this has to do with the people that are around you. You can feel their energy. You can feel their presence when you go around people. All right. You ever feel people's presence when you go around them? And it's like you automatically know something ain't right about this person. Well, that's what I'm talking about. If you got people around you that make your spirit feel trouble versus feeling happiness versus feeling uh, free, excitement, you know, if they ain't making you feel like that and you feel like you on edge, you feel like you got to watch your back, you feel like something is not right. Why am I doing this? Why am I with this person? Then that is a sign that someone in your life is sent by the devil. OK, see, one thing you got to understand about the devil the devil pretend to be God. You feel me? The devil will bring people in your life who he know you're going to like. But at the same time, if you have the spirit of discernment, you can, you can discern that this person is not who you 
think that they are because you can feel it spiritually. You can feel it on the inside. Regardless of who they make themselves to be on the outside, it's something about this person that don't make you feel good on the inside and your spirit becomes troubled. This is how you know somebody's not for you, okay? They can't hide it because you got the spirit of God in you and that's able to allow you to see the truth, okay? Beyond the veil, beyond the clothes, beyond the smile. You know, you can just sense it through your feelings because you got the Holy Ghost in you. You got the Spirit of God in you. You understand? So that's the first sign someone in your life is sent by the devil. All right? And that ties into the second sign. The second sign somebody is sent to you for a bad reason is when you notice that every time you communicate or associate with this person, you always feel stressed out. You ever had somebody make you feel like that? Or you always feel like you're you're angry. Um, you probably get violent. Like you, you get very negative with your words and you start cursing more. You know, this person does this on purpose. Right? They want you to be upset. They want you to be depressed. They want you to be stressed. And it's like every time you get around this person, it's like you can't win for losing. Everything you do to them, it's, it's like it gets turned into something bad. It's like every time you're around this person, they always gossiping. They always talking about how bad the world is, how bad their day is. They always talking about your flaws and what you did wrong yesterday. And everything's not going right for them. And it's going to not go right for you. If you're around a person like that, a toxic person like that, who wants you to react negative just like they react negative to all the things in their life, this person don't want you to do good. They don't see your greatest good coming in the future. They, they don't see you for who you truly are, all right? And people are like that. People who are like this are, are obvious, okay, that they are sent by the devil. It's obvious that the devil is using them, you know, as a vessel to bring down your self-esteem, to keep your confidence low. Because like I said, every time you get around them, it, it makes you feel like, oh, I'm a thug. Or it makes you feel like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the best. Ain't nobody better than me. They, either make, they make you feel cocky. They'll make you feel prideful. They'll bring out those feelings in you. They'll bring out those lower vibrations inside of you that are not of God. And the next thing you know, you like drain. You frustrated. You thinking about all the negative things that's happening in your life. You know why? Because that person is sent in your life by the devil. That person is not of God, okay? Remember, God has not given us a mind of fear, all right? And if you got people who coming into your life speaking fear, speaking defeat over you, devilish things, that person is not of God because God has given us a sound mind, okay? So keep that in mind when you are around people. How do they make you feel? Do you get violent? Do you react negative? Do they make you be who you don't want to be? Well, that's a sign that that person is sent in your life by the devil, all right? And it's being used by the devil, all right? And most of the time, folks, keep in mind, most of the time, these folks don't even know that they're being used by the devil, okay? Because they are completely unaware of who they are, okay? So... Let's move on. The third sign someone in your life is sent by the devil is when they offer you the world on a silver platter. Have you ever had somebody come to you and say, I'll give you this. I'll do this for you. I'll pay that for you. I'll pay your rent. I'll pick you up and take you places. They offer you money. They offer you riches. They offer you girls. Oh, don't worry, bro. You can get all the women you want. I know all of them, man. Look, I know this girl. I know her. Don't worry, girl. I know all the men. We can get them all. You know, if you got people that's trying to offer you the world, they offer you safety. I'll protect you. Don't worry about it. I'll fight your battles for you. No, 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 no. They want you to sell out. Okay? They want you to sell out. This is also an obvious sign. Someone in your life is sent by the devil if they're just giving you way too much stuff. Just way too much stuff. You know? And it almost feels like it's just too good to be true. You even probably have to question it like, yo, is this right or is this wrong? I mean, why is this person just giving me so much of their attention? Why are they just 
you know, making me feel like I'm the most finest person that exists. Why are they offering me money? They're taking me out. They're offering me deals. They're, they're, they're standing up for me when people come around me. Something's not right about that, right? It's too good to be true. One thing you got to understand about God, when somebody is God sent to you to help you or support you, whatever the case may be, they won't have to beg you or they won't have to manipulate and trick you into buying it is what they are trying to offer you, okay? Somebody who is God sent will never pressure you into doing anything. They'll just say, hey, I can help you with this. Uh, just let me know, you know? They won't ever pressure you. But if you got somebody that's constantly, constantly just telling you what they can do for you and how much money they can give you and they want you to take it, you, can, you should get it, you should get it. They trying to get you to sell out. They trying to get you to sell your soul, okay? And even me personally, I've experienced that several times and I knew not to touch it. I knew not to go in that path because it was just too good to be true. And I know personally, God don't operate like that. God does not operate like that. Okay, God is patient, all right? God don't have to rush to make you successful. He don't have to rush to make you rich. You know, he don't have to rush to, to, to give you a whole bunch of money or nothing like that. That's what the devil do, okay? Remember, the devil pretends to be God, okay? He's not God. He has to actually go to God to get permission to even touch you. Okay? So keep that in mind. It's a test. Okay? God is testing you. But he allowed the devil to come to you and offer you all this stuff just to see if you will sell out and not trust his path. Okay? Moving forward. The fourth sign someone in your life is sent by the devil is when they want you to do toxic stuff. All right, they want you to do negative stuff all the time. You ever have people come in your life, they say, oh man, let's get high today, man. You ain't got no job and you ain't got nothing to do, you know? They just, let's smoke all day long. No, man, we ain't gotta do that, man. We ain't gotta focus. We ain't gotta, you know, make ourselves positive or nothing, man. You being lame, man. I wouldn't apologize, that's lame, man. That's what weak people do. We are gonna go get revenge, man. Yeah, let's go get revenge. Let's go get these guns, man. You know, if you got people in your life like that that's that's wanting you to do toxic, negative stuff, they it's like they want you to get in trouble. It's like they don't have no 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 limits as to like how bad they could be. They're just a bad a bad person all around, and they're just trying to like get you to hang out with them or get you to do the same things that they do. Come on, man, let's hit the club, man. We don't gotta work. Let's go hit the club, man. Let's go get these girls. Hey, let's break the law, man. Rules are made to be broken, dude. You know, if you got people in your life like that who just, they are that toxic to where it's like every time you get around them, they want to do harm to somebody else. Or they always trying to start stuff and start beef with somebody else. That's the devil's advocate. They playing devil's advocate. They trying to play like they good by being like this confident person who is not scared of anything, but at the same time, they want to hurt people. They want you to do what they do. They want you to get you, they want trying to get you to get in trouble. They want you to cause harm on other people. They want to get you caught up. You see what I'm saying? They playing the devil's advocate. All right? They playing like they with you and they there for you. And it's your homeboy. He'll ride or die for you. But at the same time, that's going to be the same person that snitch on you if y'all do get caught. You know? And then your whole life is going to be ruined. That's a sign that someone in your life is sent by the devil if they if they want you to do negative stuff and they want you to do toxic stuff that's not of God, that's not positive, that's not righteous, all right? Last but not least, the fifth sign someone is in your life is sent by the devil is when people are starting problems with you for no reason. You ever seen that movie, The Book of Eli? The movie, The Book of Eli, is exactly what I'm talking about right now. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against spirits, dark spirits, and principalities, and high places of spiritual wickedness. In that whole movie, you know, Denzel Washington, he was playing Eli, and his vision uh, said for him to deliver the New Testament uh, to this library or whatever, and he had to walk by faith and not by sight to get there. And the whole time he was on his way to that destination, the spirit of darkness, you know, negative people were sent to try to stop him, but God protected him the whole entire way. And I remember one scene in the movie, he went inside this bar to get some water, 
And when he went up to the bar, you can see all the negative spirits around him. They can just feel his energy. And that's the same way that they feel your energy. See, it's a, it's a spiritual thing. It ain't, a, it ain't nothing to do with your skin color. It ain't nothing to do with flesh and blood, who your mom is, where you from, or nothing. Negative, wicked, evil spirits, demons, all right? They all know who you are, okay? But they can't do nothing to you because you're protected by God. But they want to scare you and make you think that you're weak. They want you to think that, you know, nobody is in your life is bad. But they really the ones that sent by the devil. And like I said in that movie, Book of Eli, there was this uh, old man that came walking up to him. And he was like, uh, you know, why'd you hit my cat? And he didn't never hit the cat. He just shoot the cat away. He was like, I think you hit my cat. And he tried to hit him. And that's when uh, Eli just started, you know, fighting cut the new head off and stuff like that and so um people start problems with you for no reason you know they'll come into your life they see your life that you might be a vibing high person you might got good energy you might have a crowd of people that you know you're hanging out with you might have nice things and stuff like that and they get jealous of it and they try to start problems with you that don't even exist you didn't even do nothing wrong they just they just want to come up to you and just ruin your your day they want things to go bad for you that's the devil all right and you know for a fact you haven't stepped on anybody's toes you haven't made anybody uncomfortable you haven't did anything inappropriate all right you've been doing right and you've just been doing positive and this person wants to come into your life and they say it's your fault you did it to me yeah you did that and you're like what did i do and they don't need a reason they just know that you are the reason that person is sent by the devil, okay? So these are the five signs someone in your life is sent by the devil. This is confirmation, now you know. If you ever need this video again, make sure you save it right now and run it back. Again, send this video to another believer in Christ, man. I'm pretty sure you got somebody in your phone or on your Facebook who needs to hear this video. And hey, if they sent you my video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm your big bro, trans genius. Make sure you subscribe right here and check out some of my other videos in the meantime. Over 2,500 videos. I think that's the right number. It's a lot. I'll see y'all in the next.